totally. Whiteface um, started as like Ben is still involved in like everything I do because we're okay. collaborators. Right. Ben uh, hetero life partners. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ben uh, like hosted and curated a performing cabaret in Edmonton called the Dirt Buffet Cabaret. And it was <laughs> That's like, a great name. <laughs> yeah, it was like uh, once a month they do like this uh, this cabaret of a bunch of different performances. And my friend Lady had just moved to Edmonton uh, from South Africa or from Namibia and um, was moving, moving to Edmonton and was like looking for stuff to do and like how to get into the art scene. And I was like, let's, let's do something for the Dirt Buffet. Like, I'll, I'll, like welcome to Edmonton. Let's, let's do this, this thing. So we started writing this show and it was, it was kind of like what Whiteface was. It was a very early version of Whiteface. Um, and we were like writing it and had a lot of poetry and had a lot of stuff. And the night before we had all of these poems written and this like weird music recorded and we were both like, all right, let's do this performance. And then we were both like, I'm not happy with it. And the lady was like, I'm also not happy with it. And it was like, great. I think this is going to be a strong working relationship because we can both be honest about what we want to create. Yeah, let's go out and suck. Yeah, so we both like, <laughs> scrapped everything and oh, we yeah. sort of really rewrote it in like a way that we were both happy with. And then it became like what Whiteface was going to become. Mm-hmm. So we performed Whiteface. It was like a 15 minute piece of just like kind of talking about cultural appropriation in a way that like was just these characters that could not, that needed to wear native masks. Like they needed to put on this mask that represented indigeneity to the point that they're like screaming and like tearing themselves apart. <laughs> uh, and then Eventually, like the the place where Dirt Buffet was being hosted was called Mile Zero, which is a dance studio. And the the artistic director of that, Jerry Morita, was like, "I want you to do Whiteface as a dance show." And I was like, "Jerry, I'm not a dancer." And she's like, "I I don't care. I just want I want this show." And so <laughs> we wrote like the show into a longer piece uh with like a lot of movement and and it had the elements of the first piece just sort of at the beginning at the end and then we just split them in half and filled up the whole middle with with new content okay and at the end jerry was like there's a lot of talking in that dance show i was like yeah like i'm not a dancer (laughs) so i always knew that i wanted whiteface to be more of a play like talk talk to for for my audience because i because i know what it is but if they're watching tell tell my audience what whiteface is like yeah give give the basic concept whiteface is like it's about cultural appropriation in that it's two characters both me and lady and we're both indigenous she's kalima from uh, Colombia and I'm Cree from Canada and uh, we both wear white makeup and play like stere- super over the top stereotypical white people to the point that they're not actual real people they're right. stereotypes it's not a real person and uh, we play these white people that just really need to wear native masks like these these masks that represent different forms of indigeneity and uh, when they put on the masks they do these different dance sort of sequences that really show the negative effects of cultural appropriation and, and sort of what I was talking about earlier, like the vanishing Indian effect is right. a huge part of the show. And we show that idea through movement and through text. And it eventually they put on these, these huge masks. I mean, there's one of them up there, which is like a different version of the, the mask that I performed in, in the fringe show. Right. I, I've made, I have now have two sets of these masks, so nice. I have a bunch of these masks, but um, yeah, it's just about, these these people's need to to appropriate or to wear other cultures, and it's a live stage show. It's a live stage show, right? And yeah. and are you still performing it, or is the run done? Now? It's uh, we're not tour like the <clears throat> we did a fringe tour last summer where we went to Winnipeg Fringe and Edmonton Fringe, uh, and we're still doing it. We're going to do it in Saskatoon at this poetry arts festival in May. Oh, okay. And I got an offer to do it in Vancouver, but I'm I'm in school that last week, and I like. Really would love to do this. This is a great opportunity. And they're like, no, you need school. And I'm like, well, it kind of sucks that this thing that I'm learning to do will lead to doing shows out in the real world. But right now, I just can't do both. Right. So we have to say no to Vancouver, but we're still going to Saskatoon. And we have a film project lined up in Edmonton this summer as well, where we're going to film the sort of staged version of it. Oh, we'll sweet. Make it into a 15 minute short film. Oh, okay. Uh, which is which is really exciting. How long's the play? The play is 45 minutes. So why are you going to 15? Uh, well, that's just like the it's a the tell a story high grant. Oh, gotcha. So it has to be a fifteen, 15 minute minutes. story. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. We still have all of the. We're going to still have all of the cameras, so we're going to film a longer version. But just that won't be submitted to the story high. It'll just be our, our, yeah, yeah, our yeah, footage yeah. for later. Um, and I it's forty five because the the show was 
uh, 30 minutes when we made it as a dance show. And most fringe shows are like 45 to an hour. And we made it, we added another 15 onto it by adding like new mass characters and stuff. But I love a 45 minute play. When I'm going to see any play, if it's longer than an hour, then I'm, I know I'm going to get bored. So <laughs> I wanted to give the people what I enjoy. This is not bad when it's your gig, you're done in an hour. Absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's a super physical show too. So it's oh, is like it? exhausted by the end yeah. of it. Um, but well, yeah, that's, that's, that's what Whiteface is. And it's, it's, it's a show that I created to, to talk about more heavy issues than the comedy. Because there's comedic elements to it, but it's pretty intense. Like, Don't forget, you can subscribe to our full audio episodes on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or anywhere you find your audio podcasts. The full episodes, highlights, and our live off-the-floor performance videos can be found at our YouTube channel. And you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The AVB Podcast. Of course, you'll find links to our incredible sponsors and this week's guest in the description below. The AVB Podcast is part of the Border City Network. Find more great content at BorderCityNetwork.com. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.